political science one of two is that in primaries for president everybody in america kind of understands that republican candidates articulate well to the right democratic candidates well to the left and then in the general election there's kind of a scoot to the center and a kind of a battle to be considered the most uh, 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 sympathetic to, to the middle uh, but in congress the distinction is that there is no scoot and the reason that there's no scoot is that about half the uh, well ab about eighty percent of all congressional seats are gerrymandered or by happenstance are rather safe within one political party or the other and it's about half and half and in a safe seat which after all is the overwhelming majority of congress particularly but not exclusively uh, a candidate of the furthest part of the right is likely to prevail in a primary and a candidate of the furthest part of the left is likely to, pill, to prevail in the other primary and once nominated and or elected there is no incentive to move to the center because in these safe seats in particular the only challenge to uh, a congressional career comes uh, from the right or the left. That is, in a Republican safe seat, if a Republican moves to the center, that Republican will be challenged by someone from the right who will hold that that, that candidate does not have uh, the conviction uh, to man the post or woman the post. Likewise, the same phenomenon on the Democratic side. And so the inevitable result is a polarizing effect.